The next thing I, I want to give you guys is this. Hold yourself accountable. See, holding yourself accountable is it's, it's the understanding that this, this is right here. That we can't hang around people who's not going in the direction that we're going. We got we to gotta be around some, some strong characters that's going to take you to another level. When I, when I first got here, this is actually my second week being in New Jersey, and I absolutely love New Jersey, y'all. I, I love the diversity here. Boy, I, I tell you, it is a little cold. And um, so I'm actually, I was at the airport last week, and I get a call from Dr. Gene, and Dr. Gene is the director of HOSA, and he says, Charles, if you know his voice, you know exactly what I'm talking about. He says, Charles, we got a problem. I says, uh-oh. He says, don't worry, the event's not canceled again. He says, but your driver, he's not going to be able to make it. I says, okay. And he says, would you mind taking a Uber? <laughs> I, said, I said, Dr. G, I don't know what a Uber is. <laughs> and he says, Charles, Uber, you know, a taxi. And I'm like, oh, Dr. G, don't you mean an Uber? And he's like, ah, yeah, yeah, Uber. <laughs> so I, I get on the Uber, and this is the coolest experience ever, guys. This is a Jamaican guy. And we end up having the best conversation uh, you could ever encounter with a random stranger, right? A random guy. And so we're talking for a 45 minute ride. He shared with me this story. He said there was this, this African and he had a farm in, in, in Africa. And <laughs> he went out to the forest and he saw this baby eagle. So he grabbed the baby eagle, took it back home with him, and he put it in the chicken coop. And so little by little that eagle started to adapt chicken. He started to walk like a chicken. He started to pick worms like a chicken. He started to peck at himself like a chicken. And little, little do you know, he became a chicken. So there was this naturalist that was coming around the area and he actually visited the, the farm and he, and, he's, and he looks at he looks at the chicken coop. He's like, that's an eagle in there. And, he's, and, and the farmer says, hey man, you want to check out my chickens? And he was like, that's not, a, that's not a chicken, that's an eagle in there, man. And he says, no, he's, he's not a chicken, and he's not an eagle anymore, he's a chicken. And he says, the, the, the naturalist says, let me show you that this is an eagle. So he grabs the eagle and he puts it on his arm, you know, like they do in the Discovery Channel. And he says, eagle, you are an eagle. <laughs> Spread your wings and fly. See, many people, here's what they do. They go for what's possible. 
They go for what they know they can achieve. I can do that. I can tie my shoes. I can live a normal life. I can graduate from college, maybe get married, have a family. I can do that. But being an outlier, you see things differently. You walk different. You talk different. You believe in yourself in a different way. I want you guys to look, at your, look around this room. Look to your left. Now look to your right. Some of you guys want to your left and your right. <laughs> now I want you guys to say, now I want you guys to say this. Say no one. No one. No one. No one. No one. No one. Can do the thing. We can't find that person we're trying to be in somebody else. So we should never be limited by the opinions of others, nor even the limiting opinions of yourself. But realize that there's something special in you, that there's something uniquely that, that, that's impossible for somebody else, that you're called to do this. So you got to believe, believe you are the outlier, baby, because there's something special inside of you that says that. The last thing I want to leave you guys with is this. I want you to seize the opportunity. See, it's, it's easy to quit, but failing to give up, that's something the champions do. I was actually, at, I was in the 12th grade, I was uh, asked to speak and sing, actually, at, at the basketball game. It was a sold out crowd. Princess Zan High School, that was our rivals, and Bayside High School was our school. And, no one sung the national anthem in over 20 years, guys, and I had a special opportunity to do it. And so it was a sold out crowd, spectators crowded around the width of the basketball court, and, every, and the announcer announces, ladies and gentlemen, will you please rise for the singing of a national anthem? <coughs> I was already prepared for a standing ovation because they were standing up. And so I walked to the center of the court, and I belt out. Oh, say can you And then I cursed during the National Anthem, y'all. <laughs> that, that prideful patriotic moment, it quickly became the wrong lyrics in a video submission to America's Funny Video. I mean, somebody literally had to take me off the stage. And you develop a lot of negative self-talk when somebody's holding you like this, right? The principal escorting me out the building. People texting me left and right, Charles, you okay? I got a phone call like somebody just, just laughed the whole time and I'm like, I'm like, mom, it was a, it was a mistake. <laughs> and I said to myself, I am never singing the national anthem again. And this is where people end up though. They, they may not mess up the national anthem like I did, but they, they never served the intention because of failure. And some never act bold because of fear. But I say the biggest mistake that you can make in your life is not taking that risk at all. And for a whole three years, guys, I, I thought about, man, if, if only I just did it right. If, 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 if only I, until I found myself center field at the NFL Coach Stadium. And it was a sold out crowd, guys, over 60,000 people. And the announcer announces, ladies and gentlemen, Will you please rise for the singing of our national anthem? I grabbed that mic with confidence, y'all. I had the right lyrics on the right index of my finger. And I, and I may have been a little cross-eyed, but I nailed that song, y'all. <laughs> but it's, it's important for us to understand this, guys. We, it's important for us to seize the opportunity. Life changes when we do that. Life can be beautiful. Life can be daring. It can be amazing when we seek that opportunity. If it doesn't work the first time, guys, try again. If it doesn't work the second time, don't give up. If it doesn't work the third time, you, want, you know what you say? I'm a little closer. But don't give up. Run your race. Find your pace. 
And you'll, and you'll be doing something amazing, something incredible that you didn't know you could ever do. And I want everybody to repeat after me, please say this. No matter how many times I fail, no matter how many times I fail, no matter what people have said about me, I'm chasing after my dream.